Welcome to Mathematics 3 with Teacher Caesar. Today, we'll identify and draw the line of symmetry in a given symmetrical figure. Line of symmetry, it's the imaginary line that passes through the center of the shape or object and divides it into identical halves. Again, line of symmetry is imaginary line that passes through the center of the shape or object and divides it into identical halves. Let's have examples. If we fold the figure cut out exactly at the center vertically, its halves will be congruent. The line of the fold is the line of symmetry. Just like this. This is the line of symmetry. When we say lines of symmetry, it can be vertical, this one, or horizontal, this one, or diagonal, this one. Again, lines of symmetry can be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. Some symmetric shapes have more than one line of symmetry. Again, some symmetric shapes have more than one line of symmetry. I will show you examples. First is this. A square has four lines of symmetry as shown below. Let's show it. One, two, three, and four. You see, a square has four lines of symmetry as shown below. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. One, two, and then three. Again, an equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. Do not forget that. Next, we also have a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. One, two. Again, a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. We also have this. A rhombus has two lines of symmetry. Again, a rhombus has two lines of symmetry. One and two. Please help me draw a line symmetry in this figure. There you go. Thank you so much for helping me. Again, please help me draw a line symmetry in this figure. Oh, thank you so much. Next, let's help each other draw a line symmetry in this figure. Oh, thanks for helping. Yes, so here's a line symmetry in this figure. I did it a while back. Whoops! Let's follow the line symmetry in this figure. There you go. Yes, let's again follow the line symmetry in this figure. There you go. Thank you for listening and participating. See you in the next episode.